April and I'm back to do the first portion of this video. Of course you guys know it will be all of it crammed into one, kind of like that. So of course Ally Express here, another review. They have a store and their communication skills for this particular Lily Hair vendor is really, really exceptionally just, I, well, they, they have like really great customer service. They have been staying in touch with me, you know, and back and forth. We go back and forth talking, whatever. But they're really, really a nice vendor. So I really, really appreciate them. This time I got some kinky curly hair. You know, guys, I don't do the kinky curly. So these curls are like small. They are small. I have three bundles, which I'm probably not even going to need. Uh -huh, because it's 16, three 16 inch bundles and then a closure too. It reminds me of my daughter's hair, like seriously. This reminds me of Mumsy's hair when it's washed. The curls are like this, really tiny. This is some gorgeous hair. I cannot wait to see what this looks like once it's washed out and put on the actual wig that I'm going to create. I'm pretty sure this is going to look so beautiful. So I have three 16 inch bundles. It's double wefted um, and the bearding is awesome and it. it's a really pretty. This is like some really, really pretty hair. Like the ends look great. They don't look thin or like dry the hair color is natural but it looks like a real natural it doesn't look like it was tampered with in any way meaning dyed or anything it really looks like some beautiful kinky curly hair like and it's so thick like this is like some really good hair yeah, um i hope it turns out really well like i hope it doesn't scare me off because it's so it's going to get so big on me so that's why i'm like i don't know if i need three full bundles because these curls are like tiny so this is the closure and it's a 14 inch closure and it does have the reinforced size and from the looks of things it actually has um, parting like in three different spots on it okay so I will be honest and say I'm not like a huge fan of all those different parts in the wig like I like to make my own but you know what with this hair it's probably going to help me a lot better so this closure is it looks bigger than the normal like a little bit wider but whatever, it's nice. It's like the knots in it are really nice, but the curls are like oh so tiny. Like, oh my god, so cute. But the hair texture is not like it's not too kinky and it's not silky, but you can tell like this is going to be like some really pretty hair once it's washed out. Yeah, so this is it, and let's get into the video. Hmm. Okay, love, so let's get into this. I went ahead and created my unit. She came out really pretty. The hair is a natural brown, like a dark brown, not too dark, but a very color, very pretty color. The curls are really tight. I already washed and conditioned it and let it air dry. And this is how it came out, really very curly. So I'm gonna be using the Kaleida colors in the violet and also the BW2 bleach, along with a 20 developer and a 30 developer. Also, I'm going to be using three boxes of Weller Toner in the color T14, which is an ash blonde. The T14 is the strongest um, toner and it will give you the best results if you're going for like a lighter brown. So I'm going to go ahead and mix three scoops of the Collider Colors Violet Bleach in a mixing bowl. And I'm going to put six parts of, six and a half parts of the 20 to 30, 20 developer. And I'm going to be mixing the B2W along with the 30 developer and the same thing, three scoops and six and a half scoops of the 30 developer. I'm going to go ahead and section the hair off, just kind of lift it up. And I'm going to first be using the B2W bleach, which is with the 30 developer. And I'm just basically going to pick up certain sections with that. So I went ahead and I have two brushes for each bowl. So the blue brush is the actual B2W bleach with the 30 developer. And that is what you see me painting on the hair now. Kind of like an ombre technique because I don't want to go, not excuse me, an ombre technique, a balayage technique because I don't want to go inside or underneath the actual hair. So I'm just going to apply the bleach and paint it on on the top of the hair. The next one I'm using now is the Collider Colors um, Violet in 
along with the 20 developer and I'm just gonna paint that on and that brush is actually gonna be purple so when you see me with the purple brush that means I'm using the 20 developer with the collider colors which is more or less a purple purple uh, mixture and the same technique I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the hair are the I'm gonna paint the hair with the bleach on the top surface of the hair I'm not gonna go underneath the hair I wanted to add two different color bleaches and also two different strength volume developers because I wanted kind of like different highlights, different colors, different dimension in the hair. I didn't want one flat color so that's why I decided to just go and pick random sections and use like different techniques. Some of them went off, some of the actual painting went up a little further to the root, some of it was basically two on one entire strand meaning I went ahead and put some 20 developer and then 30 and saturated the bottom of this so I was trying to give it like different dimensions now for my closure just so that I make sure that none of my roots get touched or bleached or lightened I always section the closure off in sections with different rubber bands so it'll be like nine little boxes and they'll all have rubber bands and the rubber bands actually stop me from going any further that way I'll have darker roots I don't like a lot of lot of dark roots because very minimal maybe like a half an inch so that is why I put the rubber bands you can basically put them wherever you want your roots to start so that is all done she's all finished I did the same thing with the closure as I did throughout the hair so she's and I'm going to place a plastic bag over it for about 40 minutes to let it process I don't do aluminum foil because plastic um, also processes so here's the finished look this is her washed and conditioned as well as air dried I didn't put anything in her no toner this is just the color without the actual toner so right now you can't really tell too well on camera but let's begin the toning process so I'm going to be using three bottles of toner which is a t14 ash toner and a 20 developer you need to put one part toner and two parts um, developer so once I empty all the toner out if I have one bottle I'll take oh, two bottles I'll fill up that toner bottle twice and pour in my developer so I did run out of the 20 developer on the sixth bottle so I went ahead and used the 30 which was kind of alright the 30 will just process the actual natural hair color too to make it lighter so you can keep that in mind it does say use 20 developer but sometimes I use 30 and it also works really well too so I'm just going to paint that toner onto the actual unit and make sure to flip it over so that it can saturate the entire wig because I want to make sure that every piece of it is saturated so that it all gets toned and there's no brassy colors. I'm going to cover that up for about 40 minutes and I'll come back and check on it and see the process. Okay you guys, so here's the finished look. It actually um, came out really great. I really do like the hair. At first I was kind of apprehensive because I've never really done such kinky curly so hair. I did add like two different color tone, two different color bleaches and my Weller toner. At the end, I did run out of some of my 20 developers. I ended up using 30 developer, which is really okay. Um, 30 developer will actually kind of process the hair as well, kind of lighten a little bit. So I'm glad I actually ended up using that because it kind of made it not so dark in the areas where I left it darker. I actually in the long run blended a whole lot better with my actual small portion of leave out. The hair so, did not dry out. Um, of course it is kinky curly hair so of course it's going to be big and poofy and it does have three, I think this was three bundles of 16. Yes, three bundles of 16. I did use every last piece of hair. And as for the items that I actually used in my hair after it was washed, um, and rinsed out. I did use this here which is the hair mask by Not Garlic Magic. I use this on like a lot of my curly units and my favorite which is the OGX uh, Quenching Coconut Curls. I use this on all of my curly hair units or wavy hair units. Get this for $7.99 like Walgreens, CVS. I love the way it turns out. I'll post the information for you guys below and as well as that if you want a custom wig unit made by moi you can always use the link below which is going with the wind wigs webly.com as well as that as I also do have pre-made units on the website available for sale and as far as this makeup look goes I do have a video for that if it's not already yet posted up and I'll post that link below for you guys as well so see you guys soon stay diva and devolicious and I'll be back on a new video